Deep in the basement of Sofa Shalom, there's a dusty library that's really the home of a magical bookcase to another world. When Micah and Miri and the friends are home, where there's wolves and hares living fairy tales, Mr. Safer, the golem, and glass shoe sales. So come join us for the magic and mystery, maybe even a bit of Jewish history. To give us a taste of all the adventures beyond the bookcase, beyond the bookcase, beyond the bookcase. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild! Woo! Jacob, I'm the only crowd here. You asked me to come watch you skateboard. Woo? I asked if you wanted to learn from an Ollie Master. That's different. Okay, show me again one more time. I really don't think skateboards are for me. I much prefer a Rubik's Cube. Oh, talk about a thrill. Okay, watch closely. You get going. Then put your back foot here and... Ah! Jacob! Aren't you okay? <laughs> I'm totally fine. I guess I'm more of a crash master. Can you get my board from under that bush? Um... I don't see it. Come look. Huh, me either. That's strange. Jacob, why is there a picture of Joha under this bush? Joha? That trickster. Wait, did he take my skateboard? Hey, you two. Mary! I saw you fall off your skateboard from my window. Are you okay? You must be seeing a lot of falling being Jacob's neighbor. Tell me about it. Miri, look! My skateboard went under this bush, but when we went to grab it, there was a picture of Joha instead, and he's laughing at us! And is that a, a horse? It's a donkey. See how he's smaller than a horse with longer ears? Oh, yeah. Did you know donkeys have a reputation for not being very smart? But they are actually as intelligent as dolphins and dogs and really good at problem solving. Seems like we need to be good at problem solving, too. I think this is the first clue to finding Joha. And getting my board back. Come on, let's go see what Auntie PJ thinks. Reverse, 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 seven. I win. But you didn't say Uno, PJ. Well, how could anyone remember that rule? It's in the name. <sighs> Auntie PJ! Elijah! Bickering? We, we weren't bickering. We didn't... what? Who said anything about... We got our first clue from Doha. Trickster numero uno. Now how hard was that? Oh, hush, Elijah. All right, kids. Let's see this clue. Here. I was skateboarding, and then it, uh, slipped away from me. But when I went to get it, it was stolen and replaced with this laughing picture of Doha. We have to find him. Yes, this does seem as though his game has begun. Can you help us? How about your magic atlas? Well, hold on a moment. Joha isn't alone in this picture. Here he is with a donkey. So maybe we need to go to the Grand Canyon? An African desert? An ogre's swamp? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand that reference. Big green ogre, his donkey best friend... Never mind. I would wager that this is actually referencing the tale of Joha and the donkey. Great minds. That's what I was thinking. Sound familiar, kids? A little. Can you remind me? Once, a long time ago, Joha would travel into the marketplace to go to the synagogue to pray. There was a man who sold little glass trinkets and baubles at the bazaar and always loaded up his donkey with his delicate wares. One day... Joha whispered into the donkey's ear, sending the donkey kicking and running all around the bazaar, throwing the man's glass objects to the ground and breaking them all. How terrible! That poor donkey! It did not hurt him. But it did put Joha in front of a judge. Oh, he managed to get out of it, though. Like always. But how does this help us find where in the world he is? Well, let us think. He couldn't be back at the marketplace much too obvious. He loves a small market full of this and that, though. Have you seen his fridge magnet collection? Hang on. What's that in his hand? It looks like a last bite of pizza. Nice, Blue. 
If Joha is eating pizza, well, there is only one place he'll be. Michigan's Pies, Pies in, in New York, York City. City. All right, New York City, here we come. Should I get the Atlas? Hmm, I suppose so. Yes, I think that would be wise. Let's find Joha and end this hide-and-seek game in time for sundown, kids. Whoa, 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 wait, uh, you're not sending us to New York alone, are you? Of course not. It is a mitzvah to keep you safe, children. Building fences on roofs and all that. But Joha built this game for you, so we'll stay out of sight. Or, better yet, go in disguise. Elijah, I've got some cat eye sunglasses you'll look lovely in. Oh, not again. Okay, here is the Atlas. Gosh, it's so heavy. Okay, I remember what you said last time, Elijah. Flip to the page we need. Let's see. New Jersey, New York, Manhattan. This seems about right. Everyone, put your finger on the page. Oh, boy. Portals are really not my favorite way to fly. Don't worry, Blue. We'll stick together. Atlas, take us to Michigan's Pies in New York City. Everyone, say the magic word on three. One, two, three. Nazus! The Big Apple! The city that never sleeps. And home to one Michigas Pies restaurant. Ah, oh, smell that kosher sauciness. <sighs> it looks great, but I don't see Joha through the window. Oh no, we'll never find him. Wow, what I wouldn't give for my superpower back to always ask the right questions. Remember, sometimes seeking an answer is just about changing your perspective. Good luck, children. We'll be nearby if you need us. Do they really think sunglasses and baseball caps are going to disguise them? Don't worry about Auntie PJ and Elijah. We need to find Joha if we want to get your skateboard and save the library. Yes, mostly saving the library, though. PJ Library Presents is a proud member of Kids Listen, a grassroots organization of advocates for high-quality audio content for children. Today, we want to shout out a fellow Kids Listen podcast that we love, the Kids for Kids Storytime podcast. We love that listeners get to know each kid narrator and that the voices are so authentic. It's pretty awesome to hear kids sharing stories with each other. Check it out wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the episode. Okay, Elijah said to change our perspective. So if I turn around and look all over... Hey, wait a minute. Do you see that bodega across the street? What's a bodega? It's a little shop that sells all kinds of things. Kind of like uh, Joha's Marketplace. And look at the name. El Burro Bodega. The donkey. It's Spanish for donkey. See? Si. Vamos! That means let's go. Aha! Hola, niños inteligentes! <laughs> and welcome to El Burro Bodega. We have t-shirts, press sandwiches, wonderful fridge magnets... And skateboards? <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, well, just the one. <laughs> I had to get you into my game somehow. Here you go, Jacob. My apologies. You're just going to give it back? I thought you were going to be kind of... kind of... Yes? Mean? We heard what you did to that poor man and his donkey in the marketplace. All his things ruined. Oh, my dear Mary, is that what you have been told of that story? That twas I who caused harm? Oh, how dare you? I, uh... Hmm, well, I know we don't know each other that well. And I do cause mischief, it's true. But no, never harm. No, 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 but no. But I, I don't understand. Didn't you tickle a donkey's ear on purpose to make him kick and run? Well, yeah, I did. <laughs> and it didn't cause all his ornaments to shatter? It did. And you didn't go before a judge? Oh, yes, I certainly did. But that is where I get to tell my story. You see, every day I would walk to the synagogue to pray. 
And every day, this man would point to his donkey and say, This is your brother! Ha 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 ha! He meant it to insult me! Even though donkeys are actually wonderfully smart and industrious, did you know that? I knew! That's just what I said earlier, remember? Yeah, right? So, every time I saw him, this man would laugh and laugh at me on the way to the synagogue. So, one day near Purim, I decided I had had enough. I caused just enough mischief for the donkey to scatter his wares all around. And the judge asked me why I caused this to happen. But I simply told him, The donkey is my brother. I whispered in my brother's ear that Purim was near, and he was so happy he began to dance! <laughs> <laughs> that really was not nice of that man. Right? Come on now. <sighs> you never know what someone is going through. And you never really know the full story until you ask sometimes. Have you heard that before? Remember the hard times, Zev? He's our wolf friend. Oh, yes, we're acquainted. Great musician. Yep. He had a hard time when he first got to Michal, sneezing and mistakenly blowing down his neighbor's houses. He just wanted to make friends with those three little pigs and celebrate Sukkot. I am glad they heard him out. Remember how Humpty Dumpty had trouble asking for help? And remember when all the beautiful, mixed-up things that made Helm special faded away because Mr. Safer got scared and tried to change things he didn't understand? Joha, I think we owe you an apology for not being more curious. Huh. It is a Jewish value to be curious. Always remember that. Auntie PJ always says it's a mitzvah to not believe everything you are told. Oh, she is wonderfully smart. Well, now that this is all cleared up, Joha, you can come back to the library and... Uh, Joha? He's gone! But, but, we had him right here! Toodaloo, kids! Until next time! <laughs> Toodaloo? Oh, man, that is so unfair! He really does like this game! Well, at least it will give us a chance to do some more exploring around the world. I say we find Auntie PJ and Elijah, pick up a pie with extra cheese, and head back to the library. Hello, governor. Over here. <laughs> um, Auntie PJ, you can drop the accent. We know it's you. I told her the accent wasn't working. It's more like, hello. No, 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 like this. Hello. How about we all say goodbye to New York and go home? It's awfully noisy here. But wait, did you not find Joha? Well, we did, but then we didn't. Uh, he's a slippery one, that Joha. Yes, but not a bad guy. He told us the rest of the story with the donkey. Well, tell us all about it over pizza in the library. We got some while we were waiting for you. Yay! But how do we get back? Ah, yes, well, I've brought my pocket-sized atlas much easier to travel with. Cool, and it's glowing, just like our other books. Now, everyone, fingers on this page to head back to the library. One, two, three, Nazoos! Home sweet home. Let's dig in, everyone. Um, I'm curious about your new rule about not eating in the library. Jacob, maybe we don't need to be curious about everything. Good point. I'll get the plates. Mm -hmm. Yum. Delicious. Yum. Yum.